Welcome to another video tutorial. In this video, we will learn how we can submit RNSSEC data to NCBI. So we know that usually RNSSEC data is required to be submitted to NCBI database at the time of publication. So uh, these are the steps which we should know that before submitting RNSSEC data. The first one is that we should register ourselves at NCBI and then log in. And uh, this is the second step, which is the download and install FileZilla software. Actually, this is a FTP server software, which can be used for transfer of data from your computer to NCBI database. Although you can uh, now the NCBI database has been updated, you can directly uh, upload your data. But if your data is big and sometime reviewer ask you to submit all of RNSSEC data uh, rather than only raw reads, then you need to use this software. And uh, the third one uh, is the registration of bio project. So actually registration of bio project is the all details information about your project. Like uh, uh, if you have done transcriptome of any plant species, so that will be a complete uh, project and uh, next would be would be the registration of biosamples we know that biosamples uh, usually each project have many many biosamples like uh, maybe one project can have six biosamples so six mean maybe each one have three repeats so there are totally 18 samples so we should keep an eye on this thing that uh, separate for all treatments so we should submit each treatment as a individual bio sample but we we should also remember that we should not submit the replicate data as individual treatment so all the three replicates would be a single treatment so the last one is the submission of SRA data into NCBI. So this is a, a flow by which we can submit RNSSEC data into NCBI. So now I take you to the computer screen where we can upload our NCBI sequence data. So now let's try to open NCBI website. This is NCBI website. So uh, in the middle, we can see that here is the submit option. We can just click on the submit option because here it is written deposit data and manuscript into NCBI database. Yeah, this is the platform where we can submit our data. But before that, uh, let me log in this so we can simply login by this tab yeah this is my username uh, which i will just now i will enter my password and if you want to create your login there are several ways uh, like uh, era commons google account or cid even the facebook you can use or also you can use through the email option so uh, going back to the login so let me quickly log in this one and uh, start. Yeah, so uh, now we have successfully logged into uh, NCBI, we can see that. So uh, let me introduce this uh, dashboard, which is the, here is the submission portal, that is the home page. And uh, here is my submission and uh, that that one which we have already done and uh, here are managed data this this is a tab which can if your data is private and you want to share with any reviewer then this tab can be used and the next is the template and uh, the last one is my profile so I recommend you to save your this profile because this information will be automatically retrieved at next level. So uh, now let's try to 
download that software and move to our second step. So we know that our second step was to download and install the FileZilla software. So we can just uh, download that FileZilla software uh, from this website. We can just simply click on this GEO that is Gene Expression Omnibus. So in this tool uh, would be the details because we will just transfer large data set if we need to then like uh, we are submitting high throughput sequencing then we can simply click on this and I also recommend you to read all the information on the page and don't rush while submitting the data it is easy but usually time taking so when you will click on submitting high throughput sequencing data to gene expression omnibus so you need three things uh, but for the time being you can ignore this and let me download that software yeah this is a uh, uh, way uh, yeah we can see that uploading your submission so transfer all of your file to geo ftp server so actually this server is linked with the ncbi database so if you are logged in you will see that uh, yeah here is your folder but i don't recommend you to use this folder because this folder is a private place and this this folder cannot be used for your submission of rnasic data but if you are using high throughput alumina sequencing then this folder can be used uh, although a similar uh, link will be appeared at the end of submission that one you can use but you don't need to use this one so uh, here is a way by which we can use this uh, this software to transfer the data and but uh, for downloading we can simply click on this and uh, we can check from where yeah here is the demo of that software but that will i will introduce you later and uh, let me download oh where is that one uh yeah here we can see that just just in at the second step we can see that this is a file zilla client so when you will click on this uh, and it will ask you to that which version you want you can check your computer configuration that uh, by because my computer is 64 bit and i am using windows so i will click on this when you will click on this a file will be downloaded so you can install this simply So I agree because I have already installed so I, I don't need to install again I can show you that software yeah this is a software uh, but we will use this software at the end of submission so now uh, just I can show you this software how it works but uh, that will be connected to the story at the end of the submission so now uh, we should move to our third step that is registration of bio project and the fourth subject uh, fourth step would be registration of bio samples uh, so for in this case we will we will use six bio samples and the later on at the last stage we will submit sra submission to ncbi and get a session now let's move to our third step that is the registration of our bio project so we can simply after login we can simply go to my submissions and uh, from my submissions there are following new submissions can be created like bio project bio sample and a sequence read archive so this is our third step this is our fourth step and this is our last step so uh, now let's try to create bio project so when we will click on bio project so it will show you uh that you can start a new submission yeah this is the information that we have already uh, used 
so this uh, this is the first name the last name this is the email and the mandate free fields are like submitting organization your department your street your city postal code and country and you can simply continue and uh, from the project type we can tell them that this project type is related to what like because this is our transcriptome data so we can click on this and uh, sample scope we don't need to change that can be mono isolate that is confirmed so we can just continue and after that we can uh, try to uh, write the name of our organism for which we have done the transcriptome analysis so uh, let me uh, try to write our transcriptome name organism so this is our transcriptome organism name so copy and paste here when you will uh, paste here it will show you and search this into the database and uh, breed cultivar isolate name these all are not necessary but it is better if you can add so now we can move to next step so uh, here it is asking the release date so we can because we want to immediately release following the processing this is the project title and this is the public description so what we need to tell them uh, this is the data uh, this is a short description which we have written these these are the methods these are the results and conclusion so i can write the purpose so simply just copy this you can write a just small public description like what type of experiment you have conducted and now we need to choose its relevance like uh, which relevant field is related to your study like because this is a plant study so it is related to agriculture so is your project part of larger initiative which is already registered with ncbi so you can simply click on now and external links because so far we do, did not create any external link and moreover it, it do not have stars so we can leave those options which do not have stars so we can simply click on continue and uh, it is asking whether you have already registered any existing biosample so far uh, this is our third step we did not any recorded any biosample information so we can also leave it empty and we can uh, relate our publication to this but so far because our publication is not online so we can update this letter so i can simply click on continue so uh, you can now review review your information like who is the submitter what is the project type target general information and you can simply submit when you will click on submit it will just take a few minutes to process the data so we can see that now it is uh, submitted and awaiting process so uh, because this one i have just uh, uh, done it for you so here after uh, the processing we can see that uh, this this project is already processed we can see that that bio project just after two minutes it is uh, processed so now we can see that this submission if this bio project is assigned with this submission id this is just a bio project id not your accession id so please don't use this id into your uh, into your paper as accession id now we will move to our fourth step that is our biosample submission so for biosample submission we will click on biosamples and start with new submission yeah this is the the as such submitter information we can leave as such and continue 
so here we can choose release date and we can uh, here specify batch or multiple bio samples and click on continue at here we can um, paste the name of our, that sequence organism for our case is this so i can copy and from this list we can choose which sample or organism type so because this is plant so we can choose this one and continue so from here we can choose use built-in table editor from the table editor we can this is uh, the format which I have already copied and pasted from here. The first one is only one treatment and we know that each sample has three biological treatments. So all the biological treatment like treatment 1, 2 and 3 cannot be pasted. So one treatment automatically include all the, all the biological treatment. So you just need to enter at the same time. You can copy and uh, this is the sample title and uh, by project accession number that we have copied from the previous that we are using. This is our organism and isolate cultivar. If you did not study, you can write missing. And uh, this is the development stage at which you have done transcriptomic analysis and uh, this is geographic location and this is the tissues which you used so uh, you can click on continue it may show you a warning yeah but that's okay warning mm, doesn't make any sense so you can leave it as such and click on continue and you can submit So we can see that uh, one, two, three, and this fourth one is our uh, submitted now and uh, awaiting for processing. So similarly, we need to submit all of our biosamples as individual treatment. So like I can show you in my metadata that I have total 18 samples and uh, out of 18 sample, we can, we know that we have six conditions like this one this one this so there are total six conditions and for each one there are three repeats so we only need to enter six sample because the other three biological repeats are automatically will be included in the this treatment we can see that all of our bio samples have been processed because we have totally six treatments one two three four five and six so uh, all of our bio samples are processed so now we can go back to our main submissions so we know that this was our third step bio project and uh, this was bio sample that was our fourth subject so now uh, we will move to the sequence read archive that is our last step to submit the rna seq data so before that we can copy these all uh, submissions ids we are we can open it in new tab because this would be needed in next steps we one two three four five and six So now we can start sequence read archives. We can start our previous one or we can start new submission. So we will go with new submission. This is important one. Yeah, I want to create new one. Yeah, this is the information 
which we have already used so we can leave them as such and continue so uh, here it is asking uh, that is why i told you that why we need to create bio project because it needs uh, that we should have an existing bio project but if you will select no it will uh, let you create uh, the first bio project if you have already then you can just enter that bio project number because now we have already created so we can paste that our bio project number so from here we can check what was that bio project number so we can copy and paste that our bio project number so we we know that this is our bio project number so we can just copy and paste here now we need to enter the bio sample information so uh, it is asking did you already register bio sample for this sample for the submission of read to sra or the genome data bank so because we have already done so we need to select yes so it is asking the release date so we can select release immediately following the processing mm -hmm. so uh, now we will move to the metadata information of sequence read archive so we can use the built-in table editor so here we can uh, enter the bio sample accession number that we have just saved so the first one bio sample accession number is we can see that this is the bio sample this was our first second third fourth fifth and sixth we have all six so we need to enter the first accession number like this is the accession number we need to copy this and we can paste here this is our accession number so now we need to create a library id so we need to go back to our metadata file and we can see that uh, how we can we can choose any name for our library id so let's create library id we can choose anyone like uh, bylm because this this was the raw files so we can just choose according to our own choice like b y l m so this was control at 12 hours so we can choose this one so we need to identify the title so uh, we know that this is cold at 12 hours or uh, this is the treatment b y l m treatment at 12 hours uh, uh, treatment at 12 hours and BYLM treatment 12 hours so this was the cold treatment treatment 12 hours okay so here we need to uh, create the library strategy because we are using rna sick data so we need to select the rna and here we need to select the library source so we know that we are using transcriptomic data so our library source is transcriptomic data and from here we need to mm, select which library selection because we are using pcr based library selection so we will use this one and from here we will choose library layout so we always use paired and uh, from here we need to choose the platform so because in our study we have used uh, alumna platform 
and we need to also select the instrument model the our model is 4000 alumina high sequencing 4000 and uh, this is design description so we can uh, just copy paste this design description from our metadata so uh, let me copy this from here we can yeah here is methods so we can copy all of this information and paste there and uh, from here we need to select that uh, which files it belongs to we have because fasta file format so we need to uh, write the file name so we because we have three files so we will select all one by one so the first three we will copy paste uh, because the first three like this one this one and this one this belongs to that one treatment so we will paste one by one this is the first file of this treatment and uh, let me copy paste the second one this one let me finish this one <clears throat> and uh, this is the second one so we need to paste so the first three files belong to this tree so let me the third one this also belongs to ck oh this one is treatment why Twelve hour for treatment. Here it shows. The, oh, okay. It should be this one. And because here it shows CK, so we should select this one. Copy. Because the treatment comes first. This one. C two. This is T2. Now we should select T3, copy, and paste. So the first treatment is done. So the next one we need to write the sample accession number for second one. So the, this first one was already done. So now we can move to the next one. So similarly, we will paste for all as we have already done for others so let me copy this and paste it here so we can just here this is the library id so for library id this is b y l m C because this is CK at 12 and uh, this is cold trick cold and control we can write at 12 hours and uh, we can just simply drag and drop option for all second ones because we have six one six samples so we can drag and drop for six samples all of this information because this information would be same for all so we can drag them all so we need to also because we have using the same platform for all and uh, this one would also be same for all and uh, this one should also be same for all this one should also be same for all so we have just selected all of the data so next we need to enter the next accession number uh, so let me uh, 
quickly do it for this one and enter all of these files i have just completed all the information in this metadata form so we can see that all of our six samples information i have filled out and we i have also selected the raw file data which we have previously uploaded in that folder so now we can move to the next uh, next step and we can see if there is any mistake it will show us hopefully uh, it will pass this step because we have already oh each file name must be unique d1 d2 d3 sample read is duplicated line oh these are actually duplicated so it is not accepting that t1 t2 and t3 file but why it is giving only for three so let's try to duplicate oh we can see that here is a mistake that all of all of them are duplicated so actually we need to change the lower one into ck ck1 and uh, we need to ck2 and uh, ck3 that's it so now try to check again and uh, if see this error has been removed yeah we have passed all the steps now we need to select those files which we have already uploaded in the server so uh, we can see that uh, here it is asking that which files you have already uploaded we can use both of these options like web browser upload or ftp upload so if you want to use ftp upload so of course you here i have uh, uploaded that folder but i can also you show you how we can use web browser upload if you have short number of sequences so you just need to choose file let me go to that folder yeah here is my folder and uh, let me just open this all so these are the similar file name which i have uploaded so these are the actually 18 files file zilla software will transfer your data this is username and this is password so all of this information i have copied and pasted here like this is that host address this is the username and this is the pa password and uh, this is my folder name so what we should do we should open this software we can see that this is the host name this is the username this is the password and uh, this is uh, this is port that is normally not needed you only need to fill one two and three so let me do this for you so we can simply just copy this here and now move to username and uh, let me also copy and paste that password yeah this is the password so when uh, you will uh, click on this quick connect it will just take a uh, few seconds to connect with data after connecting uh, you can will see that hi uh, yeah here is uh, something change like this is our my computer data and this is the ncbi data so because here uh, we can see that our folder is not showing so we can manually uh, find our folder uh, which we have i have just pasted here this is copy yeah let me go back to that software again so we can see that here is my folder so you can simply click on enter 
when you will click on enter yeah we can see that on the upload there is already uh, my folder which i have already finished uh, that data which i have submitted so let me show you how we can uh, add more data let's suppose uh, i can go back and show you guys how we can submit our data let's suppose uh, this is my data which i have already submitted so uh, let me copy one more file and do it for you let's suppose i also want to add this file and uh, want to submit to ncbi folder i can store it on any of my local disk like this data i have already submitted so um, let me submit this excel file as well okay so we can go back here and uh, open that filezilla software so uh, we can here scroll down to that list this is our that yeah these are that folder which we have just uploaded so because when i have clicked this we can see that this uh, sequence template is showing which i have just copied you just simply need to uh, there are several ways first way is you can simply click uh, pick here and drag up to here the second way is you can double click this the third way is you can left click and you can you will see that upload so when you will click on this upload so it will be queued so we can see that this is transferring the data to the ncbi it will just take few seconds because uh, this data i have already finished uh, it that will take about one or two days it depends on your data for rnsic data you should transfer all of your data to the ncbi website so this is the file which are being just transferred to the to this folder and after that you can uh, see that after, if your file is failed it will come here and if it is successful it will show here uh, so if sometime uh, some files are just failed so you can simply uh, come here and let them upload again so uh, before it finished uh, we can just uh, simply introduce this uh, this software because this uh, folder i have already yeah we can see that this uh, uh, excel file is uploaded to that our remote site okay so uh, we can see that this queued file is now finished or and now it's changed into successful transfer so uh, what we need to do because now uh, when we will click on this this because this one is extra i don't want to delete i don't want to submit this data to the ncbi so i can simply uh, just delete this uh, from that ncbi remote folder it will take few seconds to delete from that folder which ncbi has created for me yeah this is that our folder and this is my space yeah it is processing because uh, this data is uploaded online so it may take few seconds yeah we can see that that file which we have deleted now disappeared so guys uh, finally our sra data is processed we can see our uh, submission has been successfully processed and even we can see uh, and further it's metadata files and view sra submission data by clicking on this yeah here we can see that all of them are released now so this one we can use and here are the accession numbers that we can send to the journal that we have 
submitted our RNSIC data with this accession number in NCBI. Thank you for watching. If you have any question, please let me know in the comments.